Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and I saw something on the Tabletop Simulator Workshop that I thought was really cool. It's a Stardew Valley-themed Monopoly board game. Again, if you own Tabletop Simulator, which is roughly 20 bucks or so, you can down this, download this particular mod for free and have at it. Um, yeah, a Stardew Valley-themed Monopoly game. Who would have thought, right? What's even more cool is that when you first load it up, the game will ask you, um, can I have your permission to run uh, this particular URL? I'm like, okay. And lo and behold, there is an iPad here, whatever this is, and it brings you to the Stardew Valley soundtrack on YouTube. So it'll actually play Stardew Valley music while you're doing this. I'm not going to do that because, you know, possible copyright and all that. But still, it, it's really cool. <laughs> you can listen to two hours of Stardew Valley while playing this game. So I'm not going to play a game. I'm just here to showcase it. So here's a quick look at the board. Um, as you would expect from Monopoly board, it's it's square in shape. You've got go. Collect 200 gold from shipped goods as you pass go. Um, you've got Linus's tent and Pam's trailer. Uh, community chest, knocked out, lose 200 gold. That's your income tax space, I believe. Bus stop cart, um, one river road, chance, one willow lane, two willow lane. Then you've got skull cavern, just spectating. So this is kind of like the whole jail area. Pierre's general store, lightning rod, clinic, blacksmith, town cart, Museum, community chest, the Star Drop Saloon, fish shop. Then you've got Spa Day. That's the free parking space. Leah's Cottage, Chance, Marnie's Ranch, Wizard Tower, Quarry Cart, Elliot's Cabin, The Mines, Iridium Sprinkler, Adventurer's Gold, Fall into Skull Cavern. Let's go to jail. Uh, Carpenter Shop, Mayor's Manor, community chest, casino. Mineshaft cart. <laughs> Seems to be a theme there. Chance, uh, Jojo Warehouse, Exhausted, Pay Jojo, 100 gold, and Community Center. I think that's the luxury tax space on the actual board. So that's a look at the board. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these cards. This is the Chance deck. I'm going to go ahead and flip some of these over. Fall into Skull Cavern. Go directly to Skull Cavern. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200G. Warp Totem Farm. Escape Skull Cavern free. So this is a get out of jail free card. Chance. It's the start of a new week. Go on a gifting spree. Pay each player 50 gold. It's the start of a new day. Ship your goods. Advance to go. Collect 200 gold. You forgot to bring your tolls with you. Go back three spaces. Take a walk to the Wizard's Tower. Advance to the Wizard's Tower. If you pass go, collect 200 gold. You get the idea. Um, so that's, that's a look at that. And then you've got your community chest over here. Let's go ahead and flip maybe some of these cards over. Uh, completed help wanted. Gather 25 copper ore. Collect 50 gold. Slay 30 slimes. Uh, some of these there. Uh, donated your first item to your museum. Take 200 gold. Sold an egg. Collect 10 gold. Fall into Skull Cavern. Do not pass go. Passed out. Found by a Joja team member. Uh, Joja, join us. Thrive. Pay 150 gold. Yep. It's your birthday. Ship your goods. A lot of duplicates from the chance deck. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, the actual property cards. Um, again, these are mirrors of what you saw on the board but you can see that you've got like houses and hotels but in this case um they're called uh level one upgrades and then max level upgrades so um the adventurer guild can be upgraded for so much gold uh there's a mortgage value there just the other side is the mortgaged for 140 gold if you know how to play monopoly this all makes sense to you but yeah these are that's a quick look at all of the different property cards um, like with the railroads and Monopoly, the more carts you own, um, the more money that you'll get should someone land on a cart. Um, Iridium Sprinker and Lightning Rod, those are your utility spaces. Um, yeah. And then you've got your money. You've got your, um, Pelican Town, uh, vault money. Pretty cool. See the mayor there. All right. And then you've got all the different characters that you can be. Um... Yeah, so I don't remember half their names because I'm not social in Stardew Valley, but um, I know I married uh, Violet. I think that's her name. <laughs> I married her. I don't even know what her name is um, just because she had the purple hair. 
Um, there's Robin. I think I remember Robin. Is that, uh, that's not Pam. That's, uh, Pam's the drunk. Uh, she's, uh, somebody. Um, uh, it's George in the wheelchair, I think. And that's, uh, somebody. That's Linus, maybe. I know, like, oh, that's, she's from the desert shop, I think. Yeah, you get the idea. Look at all these different game pieces that you can be. That's really cool. Um, so yeah, these two bags here just contains the houses and hotels. Um, these are the houses on the right. Houses equivalent, I should say. These are just upgrades. And then max level, that's like your hotels. So yeah, there you go, folks. Just a quick showcase. Stardew Valley-themed uh, Monopoly board. Again, tabletop simulator. You'll need the core game, but once you get it, you can download this for free. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.